Corey, nice to meet you. So what brings you in today? Well, uh, I came in because uh, my grandfather just passed away, and um, I'm really having a tough time dealing with it, and my family's pointed it out, and they wanted me to come in and get some help. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear about the loss of your grandpa. I know it's a tough time for you and your family. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about the loss of your grandpa? Well, he died so unexpectedly. He, he was such an active person. He always ran because he was up in years and he wanted to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And um, I was I was really close to him. Like um, I've always uh, grandchildren. I was like his favorite. And uh, it, no no one else was really close to him. He was kind of a weird guy. But me and him just kind of clicked in a way. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the things you used to do with him before he, he passed away? Um, we'd go fishing all the time, and uh, I'd, I'd go running with him just to like, encourage him to stay healthy and stuff. And uh, I don't know, we were just pals. He was, I, I consider him my best friend, even though he's my grandpa. Yeah, a close relationship you had with him, huh? Well, um, how is your family dealing with the loss of your grandpa as well? I feel like they're taking it okay. Like, it, like I said, it was unexpected. No one was really ready for it, but um, I don't know. They're, I just, they weren't as close as to him like I was. Mm -hmm. So I feel like everyone else is kind of grieving and coping in like a good way, but I, I just, I'm not. And I, don't know, I just feel kind of isolated because of that. Tell me a little bit about how you felt before he passed away. You know, where were you in life? Um, I was good. You know, I had worries like every normal person, but not, I don't know. I, I didn't think it, everything was going to come crashing down. And it's like, yeah. when your best friend dies, it's like, but it was good before. Like, we were best buds. stages of grief, you know, there's uh, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. So, are you familiar with those, uh, those stages, that cycle? Those emotions? The grief cycle. Okay. Yeah, so it's important to, to remember that you're not the only one going through this, you know, and um, your family may just be reacting to it differently um, than you are. So tell me about the strength. How, how did you find strength to come here to this session with me? Um, well, I didn't really want to, honestly, but um, my parents and my brothers and sisters and uh, my family pretty much said it was a good idea. And they, they saw that with him. So, but um, I don't know. I'm just, I know he Tell me about things that you've done to accept the loss of your grandpa. Um, really, I just turned it to, it sounds bad, like a celebration. Like, uh, celebrate like his life, you know, memories we had, do like old things we used to do, and um, that just helps me remember him in a really good way instead of looking on the negative. Good, so you're trying to be optimistic about this. Yeah. Well, I want to encourage you to keep on doing that, to keep on being optimistic um, with this loss of your grandpa. It's important. It's also important that you um, continue to surround yourself around people who are encouraging and people who are supportive. Um, have you? How long has it been since you've gone into your hobbies? Um, well, we shared like the same hobby, like I was saying. Um, I, I try to do it as much as possible just to keep that positive. So I try to focus on it a lot. Okay. Well, Corey, it sounds like you're doing everything really well. You're handling this really well. I just want to encourage you to keep on doing that. Keep on fishing. You know, keep on running. Keep on enjoying.
trying to think that a celebration and remembrance to your grandpa. Um, how do you feel about coming back to me next week to like catch up on everything? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I also want to hand you this handout for uh, coping through the death of your grandpa. Uh -huh. There's some really good resources in there. There's some Dallas Metro Care, and that'll be really, really helpful for you. So just take a look at that, and we'll talk about it next week. All right, All right thanks for coming for me. Thank you.